Hello, my name is Vina and I'm from Be So Creative. Today I'm going to be making a hooded towel out of regular towels. Here's a finished product. These are really good for baby shower gifts. And then when you're finished, if you have an embroidery machine, you can put embroider the name of the child and a little decoration. But this is what it's going to look like. To make it, I just I use a hand towel and the reason I use the hand towel is because it's a little bit bigger and that way the child can use it longer. You can use a washcloth if you'd like and then I use a bath size towel. Okay. To begin with, uh, make sure that you have a heavy needle. That's always good because this is kind of heavy to, to sew through. But what I do is I fold the towel in half mark it with a pin and this is a trick I learned to go in and out in and out and then I saw I fold this one in half and I marked that with a pin and it works if you go in and out in and out and then what I do is I find that center piece and this centerpiece, but make sure that it's not right sides together. You're going to put, make sure that this is the outside of the towel. And I do, I know that because it's not folded in. And then I find the outside of the hand towel. And once again, you make sure that it's the outside, not the inside. And then I can just pin it right here. So I pin it about maybe a quarter inch, a little bit more to the bottom of this and then I try to center it and if you don't it's not a big deal and then you can pin it and then when I sew it I'm going to fold these ends in a little I'm going to fold it right here and then I'm, what I'm gonna, what I usually do is I zigzag this right here, okay? And make sure I fold this in. And then I will zigzag it. And hopefully the needle won't break. Like I said, this is kind of thick. So um, just be a little bit careful. And because it is thick, you might have to guide it a little. Make sure you take those pins out because Marco, Israel, and Izzy won't be very happy. And it's always a good idea to keep our techs happy. And make sure you fold this end under. And just caution when you get to the real thick part to kind of go slower because if you've ever broken a needle, it's kind of scary. And then you just cut the thread. And so it should look like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half. But if you notice, this is the right side. You're going to put right sides together. And you can pin it if you need to. I don't fold it out. You can pin it here. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to sew a seam this way. And you can put the put it on the edge of that so you don't have to sew over that real thick part. And then we're just going to do a straight stitch. then if you notice it's almost done here's our hooded towel but then what I do if you guys remember we sewed this under we folded this I'm gonna sew it around because then this looks kind of ugly so I'm gonna sew, I'm gonna fold it under all the way around around the hood and all I'm gonna do is just do a straight stitch right here all the way around the hood and it it just gives it a better finished look careful here in the center too where it's a little thicker and I'm gonna go slow because I hate to cut break needles and I kind of guide it and push it done and you have yourself a nice hooded towel and like I said you can use your the wash rag it's a little bit smaller than this, but if I use this it's uh, it makes it better and the kids can use it oh. sorry and the and the kids can use them for when they're longer I've given these as gifts and they say you know what my child still uses them so um, here's your hooded towel and like I said you, if you have an embroidery machine, you can back, go back and embroider something on it. So thank you for joining us today with your Wednesday workshop.